For more than 40 years, Antronics has been critical to the technological progress of the cable industries in the United States, Canada, and around the globe. Our mainline passives, residential amplifiers, indoor passives, passband filters, and network components have helped to engineer cable's explosion into essential utility. Antronics passive devices have enabled cable operators to provide new and better subscriber services and take advantage of more broadband spectrum. The capacity of cable networks has always been defined by the performance of its passive devices, laying the groundwork for access class and premise network activities, customer premise equipment, gain hybrids, and CPE silicon. Today, Antronics products are enabling an unprecedented leap in data capacity and support data rates and services which were once unimaginable. DOCSIS 4.0 now promises to continue that trajectory, expanding network capacity into spectrum reach that seemed unattainable when DOCSIS was first conceived to deliver data over legacy cable systems and architectures. The story of cable's evolution has always been one of expanding spectrum, expanding the viable frequency range of the RF network, and increasing spectral density through higher modulation schemes. Antronics has always been at the forefront, leading the way with its component designs, supported by its industry-leading manufacturing quality and RF expertise. Years ahead of competitors and even before the latest DOCSIS version, Antronics Millennium Multitap was engineered to support 1218 MHz bandwidth, proving Antronics Multitap's the most field-proven and most innovative available anywhere. The next generation of Antronics Multitaps is now charting the way for the cable operator to tap into up to 3 GHz of spectrum with the most economical and practical upgrade path. The Millennium G6 multi-tap platform, scheduled for availability in early 2021, will be the first and only retrofit upgrade option for the cable operators who have existing Millennium TAP footprints throughout their plant. The G6 will allow operators to achieve up to 1602 MHz of usable bandwidth by simply swapping the existing 1218 MHz or earlier generation faceplate without the need to re-splice the TAP cut into the physical cable plant or interrupt services to downstream subscribers. For many systems which are now only moving their bandwidth capacity to 1002 or 1218 megahertz, this increase in available band for the passive network performance represents a groundbreaking single generation leap in network capacity for a fully backwards compatible retrofit design. The G6 will allow cable service providers to implement DOCSIS 4.0 technology across their existing plant economically, quickly, and effectively. These multi-taps are optimized for superior isolation for improved potential performance in full duplex DOCSIS or FDX mode. The G6 boasts all the features that make our Millennium Taps leaders in the market. A make-before-break design. Latest generation high-frequency interface in the plate. And Antronics patented Camport auto-seizing F-ports, which provide up to 2 kilograms of pull force resistance and reduced intermittency and related truck rolls. And our reach into higher spectrum doesn't end there. The dramatic increase in data usage due to the precipitous shift into remote learning and work has exposed the need for more spectrum and more data capacity like never before. Millions more subscribers now depend on their data as a truly critical service to stay connected from home, and those networks that have not upgraded both their downstream and upstream service capability have felt the pinch during these recent times. This recent shift has greatly accelerated the trend towards more data demand. 
estimated for commercial release in 2021, and Tronic's Intercept EHFC will allow cable operators a groundbreaking alternative to delivering widely available, fully symmetrical gigabit data rates to its subscribers with its Lancet series optical taps. Lancet will allow cable service providers to incrementally upgrade their service groups to an FTTT architecture and a fully backward compatible end pun interoperable solution that will chart the way to a future topography capable of higher than 20 gigabytes per second symmetrical, even at full contention rates within the network. Lancet's industry-leading design will allow operators to interlace taps with existing HFC service groups. There will be no need to re-architect the plant or drop fiber to every home, and Lancet will continue to leverage DOCSIS with its link aggregation technology resulting in the industry's best performing investment model for running fiber deeper into the cable plant. Making the most of HFC networks and your RF plant is our core mission at Antronix. Our inverse fiber amplifier, the IFA, allows cable operators to extend the reach of service groups, expand network reach, and add FTTH services quickly, economically, and effectively. The IFA is an outdoor line mountable environmentally ruggedized device designed to expand the HFC infrastructure by converting an RF input to optical, ideal for attracting additional subscribers not easily serviced by the MSO. The IFA is designed to support a variety of FTTX solutions from the existing HFC plant. The Intronix IFA allows for improved reliability, lower maintenance cost, and significantly increased performance, all while utilizing existing head-end equipment. The CMTS and back office systems are utilized in the new plant extension. The IFA is fully interoperable regardless of the ONU's manufacturer, but it is most often paired with a dedicated high output premise micronode or a series of radio frequency over glass ONUs. For new subscribers, either in a viable residential cluster, which was too costly to reach with a dedicated full feature access class HFC node. The IFA can be used for commercial applications when paired with any Antronix AFN premise micronodes available in a variety of output levels, wavelengths, and return configurations. For more information about any Antronix device solutions, contact an area sales director or an authorized representative.